Hey YouTube, uh, showing uh, what I'm doing with my uh, BYD battery that I bought uh, online. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with these. And I haven't capacity tested mine or not. I'm just setting up the BMS and an active balancer. I bought three of these and I'm going to be hooking it up to a brand new um, 240 split phase inverter. Uh, 6 kilowatts, which will be powering my house. Uh, emergencies and other other times. Um, so I just want to show my setup here and what I decided to go with and why. First thing I'm going to talk about is these terminals. Um, seen a few videos online about them and um, uh, so a lot of people have different ways of doing uh, from removing them or putting copper tubes with some pipe clamps. What I decided to do use a Dremel tool with a cutting wheel, cut them down, filed them down, drilled them and tapped them so I would be able to put a bolt through that and uh, that's the kind of connection I prefer on that and um, you know put fuses on there and the like so the wiring I'm doing for the uh, BMS and the balancer use this type of balancer down here seems to be doing a pretty good job um, I went for that for an active balancer and it is a 5 to 8 amp balancer and the reason why I wanted to balance that hard is when these batteries are discharging um, a lot of amperage is flowing through them and uh, this thing can keep up with uh, the discharge rate and keep those uh, uh, cells balanced as, it, as it's discharging so um, the charger unit and a lot of the other BMS's uh, don't have uh, they have a few hundred milliamps which just isn't going to do it uh, for storage it'll balance them out after a week or two but uh, for more uh, use and better uh, output uh, capacity from your batteries, you need to go with something uh, like this. Uh, there's a few different types also. And that's the charger display. Let's get a little focus going on there. There we go. And uh, the battery was a little bit discharged. And so I used the wiring, uh, did some, um, all the wires are the same length to keep the voltages uh, reading about the same. There's some temperature sensors. And right now I'm going through and charging the battery. It's at about 12 amp charge. That should jump up to, I believe this charger does about 22 amps. And that'll charge it up really nicely and uh, if you guys have any questions uh, I'll be showing a little bit more of the build uh, when I get the inverter installed and all that other stuff and uh, yeah thanks for watching